Hey everybody, so I've been commissioned by my wife to make a couple of floating shelves to put into the house, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to use a method that's probably, well, it's not super um, handyman-ish. Uh, it's the, the style where you just get basically a 2x6 board, you cut it into the lengths of shelf that you want, and then you use uh, a Craig drill bit or Craig jig to uh, drill some pocket screw holes into it and then you anchor them into the studs in the wall uh, from there. They're small shelves. The one issue I may run into and have to deal with in this uh, project is going to be the fact that it, these are going on a short wall and so there's only one stud sort of in the middle of that short wall so I may have to use some drywall anchors for the ends to keep it from kind of doing that seesaw thing in the middle. Uh, it'd be pretty bad if you put a plant up there and uh, it sort of slid off the one end. And so uh, I'll find ways to anchor that on the ends as well. So that's kind of the method I'm going to take. So uh, with that said, I bought a few um, items to, uh, to get this project done. So I ran over to my local big box hardware type store, lumber store today, and I bought an eight foot long, two by six. Uh, which is what I'm going to be using to make the shelves out of. These are probably only going to be about two foot shelves uh, and I'm just going to make two so I'll have actually uh, plenty of extra wood to be able to, to use. You'll notice I just bought the cheap pine so uh, the plan is to uh, of course cut it into the, the lengths that I want. Uh, I'll spend a, a fair amount of time sanding this up because it's pretty rough um, and um, then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, I also bought Stain. Let's see if I can get this out of here with one hand. Actually, this is the, the pre stain. Oop, let me get the English over there for you. So, uh, what this will do is it'll treat that wood so that it'll take the stain better and more evenly so it doesn't have the kind of blotchy uh, effect on it. So, sorry about all that movement there. Uh, and then my wife wanted to go with the, uh, sorry, the early American uh, stain. So this is Varathane. I just picked it up at the same place I bought the, the wood. So both of these are Varathane. And so that should kind of help it go on evenly, soak in evenly. And then I'll follow up with this wood stain, maybe a couple coats of that. And so depending on what this, uh, I guess this is pine, uh, how it's going to go. So that's another reason why to get this pre-stain is because if you've got a, a really soft kind of porous wood like this um, it's really best to kind of treat it ahead of time so that it will take the stain evenly. So that's the plan. Uh, now it's time to get started. Alright so this is the wall we're looking at. It's a short wall as you can see. It does have a light switch in it next to the door frame that goes into a bathroom. So this is uh, pretty short and it only has really one stud in it. Of course there's one over here where the light box switch box will connect to then there's a stud here about 16 inches from that one over there and then the next thing is in the very corner so it's going to make a bit of a challenge to hang the shelves here because you'll have basically from the style that i'm wanting to use you'll have kind of one anchor point in the middle basically of the shelf so to keep it from you know turning into a seesaw and doing that thing, um, I'm gonna have to figure out if I can just use some drywall anchors, uh, or maybe in my Craig jig, you know, on the ends, the holes that I drill from that, if I can just use drywall screws. I don't think it'll take much to keep it from doing this number. Uh, I've also kind of talked about maybe doing uh, something that kind of goes into the corner and then a little bit over to this wall, but then you run into the same issue over here because another short wall. And so you have basically a stud here. And uh, I could anchor in the corner, but then I'd be looking at a drywall anchor sort of situation there, unless I came clear over to here and kind of made it like this. So I'll, I'm still kind of planning that. At this point, she's really just interested in having two shelves here. We'll take that down. There'll be a shelf there, a shelf there. She'll put a plant and a few other little things on there. So I will keep you posted.
both batteries are dead. That was a lot of work for that little saw. Low batteries, cold weather. Anyways, we got this end, uh, this edge now true, so it's squared up. So now I can uh, move on and cut this first board the uh, length of the shelf that I want. cut that to two foot. But first, I gotta charge up the battery.
All right, so I've got my two shelf boards cut. And uh, they're two foot long. So next thing to do is clamp them down, sand them up, and get them prepped for some stain. Now eventually, I will get out my, you know, my organization technique there. Use old Cool Whip uh, containers. Tell me who doesn't do that. Anyways, I'll get out my little Craig jig here, and I'll use it to uh, drill in the, the little uh, pocket hole um, that the uh, screw will go down into and go into the stud in the wall that uh, I was showing on the previous little clip. Um, there's only one stud basically in that wall because it's a short wall, so uh, I'll get it in the right spot and then I'll drill a couple other holes as well um, that I can either tap into a drywall or try to hit a drywall anchor uh, or something like that. I'm still sort of working that out in my mind, but at this point, we at least have the uh, shelf boards cut. All right, so after hours of sanding, at least what feels like hours of sanding. Uh, I've got this about ready, I think, to put the pre-stain on it, clean it up. So uh, what I've done is uh, on some of these rough spots, I went with an 80 grit, just kind of chewed some of those deeper divots out of there uh, as best I could. Uh, then I moved from that to a 120. And now I'm actually, I uh, got a little 180 here on this to kind of get just a little bit finer sand on this especially on the top part of the shelf. It's not the greatest wood in the world, but it'll get the job done. So, we're getting there. Nice big divot here in the wood. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the, in the camera right here. Kind of a big divot. It's quite a hole actually, so I just smoothed it out. That's actually on the bottom of the shelf, what I'm going to make the bottom of the shelf. So it's it's fine. Gives it a little character, I guess, if you're looking at it from, from underneath. By the way, I hate sanding. Anytime I do woodwork type things, or even automotive, where it requires any sanding, can't stand it. Always takes longer than I think it should. I don't have the patience for it. Alright. Get these edges here a little bit, these ends. I took my sander. Um, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but I kind of rounded these edges just a little bit to make them look a little bit nicer. So, uh, like right here, there was a knot and, uh, and, a, and a good sized hole, so I took a little wood filler and uh, filled that just a, a little bit. This will be the top, this will be the front edge, bottom, wall side. Yep. So, next step. Find another little bit of a rough patch here. Furry patch. Right. So, 
what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean this up. So I'll blow it off and then I'll get a uh, tack cloth on it. And uh, the next thing I'll do uh, is I'll put some of the pre-stain on there um, just to uh, prep the wood for the actual stain that's going to go on. And again, that's what I'm after. All right. Uh, you know, it's about as smooth as I'm going to get for a cheap piece of pine wood. And every time I think I'm ready, I see another spot that it probably could spend another 25 minutes sanding. But for what we're doing, I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the pre-stain on this. Now, in reading the instructions, um, there we go. Reading the instructions for this, it says to apply it across the grains and then to wipe off the excess, not to let it dry before um, wiping off the excess. So apply it across the grains, wipe it with the grains to get the excess off. So that's my plan here. So let me get a, a rag, clean rag. got a clean rag to wipe off the excess. This is actually the oil base and not the uh, water based. So oil based, not water based. Just a basic foam brush. Alright. Could use a bigger brush I guess but it's what I got and I should probably have my mask on I got the door open though so it's pretty uh, pretty well ventilated in here now when I go to clean this up I want to make sure When I go to clean this up, I want to make sure that I uh, keep this away from anything that's flammable or that can spark or anything like that, because this stuff is uh, combustible. Okay, we're almost there. Almost ready to wipe. I'm bleeding it on pretty thick, probably thicker than I need to. I definitely want to have some rubber gloves or latex gloves or you know those uh, whatever they are nitrile or whatever they are gloves that's what these are Yeah, that went on really well. So let me do the bottom. Notice again, I'm going at across the grain, which is what the instructions say to do. But then it says to wipe the excess with the grain. All right. There it is. 
says now. It does say. Sorry about the lighting. Got some bad backlight there, but uh, it does say that you're supposed to let this stuff dry and cure for. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, actually, and let it cure and let it dry before staining it. So that'll give it plenty of opportunity to uh, to cure and settle into the grains of that. Now I'm doing two shelves, and so I'm just doing one today, and uh, the next one I have cut already, as you saw earlier. And uh, I'll probably do it, I won't probably record it uh, when I'm doing it, but everything should go as planned. I think the real challenge is going to be actually getting it hung on the wall where my wife would like to have them hung because of the fundamental lack of studs to screw into. So once I get that figured out, we'll get them mounted and uh, go from there. But for now, I'm going to let this cure up. All right. You know, I was going to let it cure overnight, but actually I started reading the, reading the instructions on the stain can, and it actually, I'm sorry, on the um, pre-stain can, and it actually says uh, 30 minutes. You can let it dry for 30 minutes and then apply stain. So it's been a little over 30 minutes, and I think I'm going to go ahead and stain this particular piece of wood and see how it turns out. Now, I'm just kind of noticing on here, i got a few uh, little blemishes, I've got a couple of, sorry about that, uh, I've got a couple of uh, little blemishes, but um, I'm also noticing that the rag I used to wipe that pre-stain off kind of left uh, some fuzzes. So I'm just going to kind of take this tack cloth and very quickly just sort of wipe down. board and uh, there I think that's probably better than it was so instead of using the red rag again I've got some just shop towels so kind of blue paper shop towels got a roll of them so we'll see if it uh, works better or not so I've kind of shaken this stain up pretty well pop the lid off of it Again, this is oil-based, not water. Yep. Nice dark uh, sort of stain. Looks good. Looks like I got it stirred up pretty well. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to apply this across the grains, and then I'll wipe off with the grains. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. Now, one, uh, one note here is that it's pretty cold today. Actually, right now, in my garage, it's probably colder than it should be for staining. Um, well, colder than I like it anyways. It's colder than I like it, period, but probably definitely colder than I like it for staining. Um, but I'm gonna just give it a shot here. I'm still able to be fairly comfortable with the sweatshirt on, but I do have a couple of layers underneath it. Now, I know some people like to apply their stain with a rag, and I've actually done that quite a bit before. My dad was a painter, and so we did all kinds of uh, mostly commercial exterior paint, paint jobs, and uh, like green elevators and things like that, farm farmhouses, barns, and then eventually grain elevators and uh, whatnot. So yeah, I spent my some time up on a rope, repelling down the sides of the grain elevator, painting. Anyways, I say all that to say that my dad was a painter. We actually built the house that I grew up in, at least from when I was ten years old. So I helped when I was a kid do a lot of staining of woodwork and uh, it was my job to, uh, to wipe off the excess and so, uh, but I watched my parents of course apply the stain and they often just use a rag. It works pretty well. Alright, so 
stain is applied. I'm kind of letting it sit here for a second or two. Again, this is kind of this is a pine wood, so it's kind of soft and soaking it up pretty well. Yeah, this goes on kind of kind of dark, and wow, it really soaked it up. I'm gonna have to put probably another little coat on this, I think. I think this is probably lighter than what my wife was uh, thinking. Plus, if you look at the end, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it's a little darker on the end where those grains run. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Let me do the bottom. And maybe uh, I'll let it sit a little longer on here. Put it on a little heavier. <laughs> Sorry, I got the snivels. This uh, stain does not smell quite as strong as the uh, pre stain did. That's good. Do these edges again too. That hole right here, you can kind of see that divot. There's like a puddle of of the uh, stain in there, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Probably not great. It's getting to be that time of day when it's getting a little difficult to film things, especially when you're in your garage. That's dark enough. I don't think my wife's gonna really like this. Maybe she will. Maybe it'll be good enough. But uh, this is the color early American. We were expecting it to be a little bit darker. So I don't know if it's the temperature or the wood that is the issue here, but that's pretty light. Uh, let's do a comparison shot just so you might be able to tell a little better in your camera. I still have my other one that I haven't done yet. So, yeah. You know, maybe it's the pre-stain. It didn't let it dry long enough. Not sure. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this sit overnight. And then I'll probably tomorrow um, put another coat on here and just see if it soaks any more in. So, so that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be it for now. Um, it may not seem but just like a flash for you, but it's going to be overnight for me. So... Um, I'll try another coat tomorrow and see if it takes any more, and we'll go from there. Hey, this just in. I showed that uh, 
stained board to my wife. I didn't think it was dark enough, but she said, oh, it's pretty. <laughs> so I guess it counts. It's work. It works. It pleases her, so that's good. So um, I will try another coat on it tomorrow and see if it darkens it up just a, a little bit more, but really um, she's pleased with it for now. So, uh, And then I'll do the other shelf board. And uh, once I have those kind of all done and stained, then I'll pick back up and show you uh, mounting them to the wall. So we'll go from there.